Hi there, I'm Katrina Boss with Fusion Tantra and we're going to have our second Tantra talk today and it's all about the difference between regular sex and Tantric intimacy. Because this is a place that we often begin because our regular sex, there's something inside of us that says, mm, this is great and everything, but I'm missing something, something deep inside I know that it's supposed to be so much more than this. So here's what we're going to talk about because I want to open up a possibility for you. We understand regular sex because it's based on the procreative model. It's based on creating new life, but it's based in the physical, based in the physical body of creating babies. We can become really good at it. We can, you know, be fantastic at it, but there's a limitation and we kind of all know it. So tantric intimacy is different. So I'm going to describe it beginning with a metaphor. Imagine Lego. So we're playing with Lego pieces. Now imagine you start with 20 pieces, various sizes, various colors, and it's great, right? So you're putting pieces together in all these different positions and all these different ways and building new things, and it's awesome. And you think, wow, I love Lego, right? So this is, this is my regular sex part. And then maybe later you go, you know what? I want to add in some funner parts, right? So you get a special, a special Lego set and you get to add some funkier parts or some sexier parts or some interesting, more interesting parts. But eventually there's always a limit. There's always a limit to how much you can do <clears throat> with these physical Lego pieces because they're just blocks, right? You know, you can be pretty imaginative. You can be pretty good at it, but they're just blocks. That's all we can do is just fit them together. So if we shift to say a tantric experience, now let's imagine that each Lego block is a door to a new possibility, right? This is us. We are physical beings, but we're more than that. We're also infinite, right? We're also emotional, intellectual, spiritual, hoping, all these amazing things. We're more than that. Our physical bodies are just a door to something else. So now you imagine you take two blocks and you put them together and a waterfall appears. And you go, that's interesting. Then maybe you add another block and a flower opens up. And then maybe you take away a block and fireworks happen. Suddenly, this Lego set of 20 pieces becomes full of infinite possibilities because you never know what's going to happen next. You have no idea what the possible outcome could be. So every block, you have intense focus. You look at that green block and you think, what could happen if I add this one? So you add it gently and all of a sudden you're canoeing down a river, <laughs> you know? So imagine this. In our regular life, in our regular sex, sex life, in our sexual lives, it's like that. We have a limited number of parts. We fit, to, fit them together in a limited way. It's all we can do. But in tantric lovemaking, we realize that we are infinite. How does this work? So you look at me. Every day, I'm different. Imagine I'm connected to this infinite possibility. So every day I'm alive, I'm actually a different manifestation of that infinity. If I then connect with another person, they also are an infinite, there's infinite possibilities to who they are today. But what we tend to do is we look at our partner and we assume they're the same as they were yesterday. We assume that they are the same person they were 10 years ago. And we have that in our minds, we have that as a, as an expectation that, well, that's just who they are. And so now all of a sudden we've just become inanimate Lego pieces that we fit together. Instead, imagine we look at each other for who they are today. What do you feel today? How are you today? What's your energy like today? It sounds all very boring, but when you actually put these two infinite possibilities together, magic happens. One of the other things we have to release in tantric lovemaking is to release all expectations. And one of the reasons is, is if we have an expectation of what we want to have happen, what that means is we're creating a box and this other person 
now must fit into the box because they need to fulfill the expectation I have. And now we've deleted infinity again. We've deleted the possibilities that something that I don't even expect could happen here. When we put someone in a box, they again now become just that Lego piece, right? This is why we release the goal of orgasm and ejaculation, <gasps> right? That's like everyone's like torment. No, no, don't do that. And understand that it's not that it won't happen sometimes or maybe it won't, but when we release the expectation, then we access infinity again, right? Because the reality is Tantra isn't just about sex. And if it becomes just about sex, again, we limit infinity. As human beings, what we crave the most is true intimate connection. And it doesn't matter whether we end up cuddling on the couch in the deepest, most beautiful embrace we've ever had with another human. It doesn't matter whether or not one person ends up crying because they're deeply struggling with something and they've actually found another human who sees them and feels them and is there for them. These are deeply human experiences that are as fulfilling as the most beautiful lovemaking. Sometimes we end up in the most orgasmic pleasure that you can ever fathom and all you did was gently place the Lego pieces together and something magical happened. It isn't anything more than releasing our expectations, truly connecting in to the infinite possibilities of each other and allowing that spirit to flow between us. It's not complicated. All we need to do is really trust and imagine something brand new, something beyond what we've previously understood is possible. So that's all I really want to say today. And I'm so glad you've joined us today. If anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. And if not, you can watch this anytime. If you have any, also if you want to, um, if you have any questions about our online courses, just check out FusionTantra.com and we can answer any of your questions there. So thank you for joining me, and I will see you at our next Tantra Talk. Bye-bye.